Good evening, everybody. It's Kevin Knessa. Every so often, it's important for me and I think for all of us to take a step back and to get a little bit on the serious side. And as I did last year with the Sid Rosenberg Show, I thought this would be a good time, in light of the President's speech, to deliver the state of the Chauvio Union. Without any further ado, here it is. It was only 15 months ago when Chauvio was born. In an instant, technology changed when Jeff Katz, a conservative commentator based out of South Florida, hit the airwaves and began the Chauvio Revolution. A few hours later, Goomba Johnny Cialiano hit the airwaves, then Leslie Gold, and then Sid Rosenberg. And thus, when Sid was done, the first day of Chauvio, on a nice day in October, was complete. None of us would really be the same again, myself included. The popularity of Chauvio was very slow at first. Crowds were small. It was rough getting the word out about the network. But those of us who were here from the get-go, and who are still here to this day, realized we weren't just part of something new and something fun. We were part of something very special that would change the face of broadcasting forever. Think of it for just a moment. There are numerous internet broadcasting outlets out there, yet none of them can deliver what Shovio can. None offer two-way chat with video calling. They can try hard to imitate, but none of them can replicate. On a personal note, none of these other networks can deliver what Shovio has, not just for me, but for many of us, because friendships have been made, bonds have been formed, some will last a lifetime, and many go beyond the walls and the borders of a computer screen and a website. As an aspiring broadcaster, I had long given up on ever being behind a mic and or on camera and being able to give my opinions on news, politics, and sports. But because of the vision of J.J. and Bertika Astro, 20 years after I had given up on that dream, it has not only become a dream realized, it is one I am certain will one day change into a career changer. To say the least, it's already been a life changer. I used to love being the caller on sports radio. Whether it was Howie Rose, Pete Franklin, Bill Mazur, Chip Cipolla, Christopher Mad Dog Russo, or Steve Summers, I always found it to be a thrill to go back to school after a long weekend and hear the school president, a Jesuit priest, saying, I heard you on the fan over the weekend. You did a great job on your call. And even today, all these years later, it's still a thrill to hear from people who say, I heard your show today, I watched your show today, and I liked what I saw. All of us with showcasts, every single one of us who gets that same thrill, who gets that same satisfaction, owes a great sense of death and thanks to JJ and Bertika Astro for opening up their minds, their creativity, their website, and allowing us to do what we do on a daily basis. Think of this also. Chauvier is only 15 months old, and it has already gone through a radical transformation. We said goodbye to some of our good friends and noted professionals, from Leslie Gold to Jeff Katz to Sid Rosenberg to Goomba Johnny. And yet, look at what has survived. Many of the people who were mainstays for some of those shows remain here to this day as loyal viewers. They've been tremendous supporters of our showcast platform. It would be hard to name all of these great people, but of course some great ones come to mind. Rodzilla, Viking Mike, Frog Hill, Saab, Pickle Panda, Tom O'Connell, Timmy Gillette, Oath Keeper, Mall Guy Eric, Mawa, Sims, Nando, Coach Pete, J.R. Stevens, Rescue Four, Captain Cricks, Uncle Mugga, Cousin Billy, Kevin Coca. I'm sure I've missed some names, and I apologize if I did. It certainly wasn't intentional. Others now do their own shows. Mike DeHine Sweeney, Joe Heelan, Jim Graham, Zach Gelb. Others have come to do shows on their own, all new to Shovio, without having been prompted to come because of a professional. Big J, Bigfoot Yeti, Sergeant War, Bobby Bradley, Big Black, Little Spice, Brendan Baker, Nick Howard, 
the hoops talk guys, you name it, we could probably go on forever here. We've also come to know some great people through Shovio as well, including the likes of the wonderful Jack Garcia, Scott Kasha, Eric Levine, call screener Sally, Archie, Layla, you name it, there are so many others. Shovio has brought together a very special community, a community of people who want to entertain and who want to then be themselves entertained. A community of believers who, despite the technical issues we sometimes face here on Shovio, have never given up on us, though that would have been the easy thing to do. So just what is the state of Shovio right now? Personally, I think its best days are ahead. The potential uses for Shovio are endless, and they go way beyond the realm of broadcasting. Think of the world of education for a second. Imagine you were a student who was ill. The only reason you can't really go to school is because your sickness is contagious, but you're still cognizant enough that you could pay attention to a lesson. Imagine that classroom that has a smart board and a webcam set up, and that student being able to participate in the daily lesson by beaming in through a webcam. Where else could you get that but Shovio? Truly nowhere. That's just one example. There are webinars, corporate meetings, and so many other possibilities that we are so in the infant stages of Shovio. And we're at a point where Shovio can save companies and corporations so much money, it's not even funny. The best days are ahead for Shovio. But the days that have gone by have been great days. Personally, I'll always look back fondly on the first 15 months of Shovio. I only hope you'll be able to do the same. Thank you one and all for making Shovio, Shovio. All of us involved are extremely grateful for your loyalty and your dedication to each and every one of us who get behind the mic. Thanks for watching.